We want to get mm -hmm. right to that mine rescue in West Virginia. Check out these images overnight. It shows the moment these three people emerged and reunited with their families. They had been trapped in that abandoned mine since Saturday. And rescue workers have been working around the clock tirelessly trying to find them. David Curley is there on the scene in Charleston, West Virginia for us. And David, good morning. We know those three were taken to the hospital after the rescue. What are you hearing about their conditions now? Doing well, Robin. In fact, so well, all three checked themselves out of this hospital just a couple of hours ago and went home. For the small mining community, the fears of the worst turned into cheers for the best possible outcome. Overnight, we talked to two of those who were rescued about how they survived. Tears of joy in this small West Virginia mining town, families reuniting with their loved ones they weren't sure they'd ever see again. But overnight, all three were safely rescued from that abandoned mine, all still alive. We panicked sometimes, then we prayed a lot. A happy ending in the race against the clock, which lasted four and a half days. Thank you. The two women and a man had broken into the mine with another male friend early Saturday morning, trapped in the cold, muddy conditions with little oxygen and no light. What was it like in there? It was terrible. <laughs> we drank mine water. We yeah. had no food. We just found a stream in the mine to start drinking it and hoping, praying to God that it was not contaminated. The rescue didn't come easy. Empty oxygen tanks slowing the rescue crews as they searched over the past few days, but never losing hope. By blowing air into the massive mine with large fans, those rescue crews were then able to work without breathing apparatus, which led to this breakthrough. We go into these events not to recover, we go to rescue. The three were to be taken to the hospital in Charleston, but on the way, the motorcade of ambulances stopped at the community center for that amazing reunion. This is an outcome that I really, truly in my heart didn't think would happen. And while they could face criminal charges for entering the mine illegally in search of copper wire, family members say that is for another day. A community grateful they're all alive. This is a Christmas miracle. A wonderful outcome, but state officials here are saying more has to be done to keep people out of these abandoned mines trying to steal copper wire to sell and make some money. But I got to tell you, George, we ended up behind those ambulances and police cars and we thought, are they actually going to stop at the community center when they hopped out and were reunited with their families? It was amazing. Hard not to be caught up in that joy. George? No reason not to get caught up in the joy. Okay, David, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.